Everybody, uh, bonjour. I am in Montbazon, uh, France. I'm at the home of uh, Manu and Sophie, and uh, they are my wonderful host who brought me here uh, to do a show last night, which was great. Um, great turnout was sold out, and we had a wonderful, uh, wonderful crowd. Of people and we jammed. It was a band before Copperhead, Copper, Copper what? Copper Grips. Copper Grips. Grips. Grubs. 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 Okay. Rocky. Okay. <laughs> um, they played and then we jammed. And uh, Sophie and Manu we played. Uh, we also played uh, Keep on Rocking in the uh, Free World <laughs> together. That was your first time on stage, right? Singing. Yes, and we had a really good time. We jammed. Also, Eric joined us, uh, and um, yeah, it was really nice. So I've been here for a few days now, and uh, I'm gonna go. I am uh, south. I'm south of Paris. Yes. I'm in south of south of Paris by three hours drive, two and a half three hours drive. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna go to Paris and see a little bit, and then on Tuesday. Going to uh, Dusseldorf. There you go, Dusseldorf. Uh, so Tuesday Night Live, which was the electric show, which will be um, uh, from Dusseldorf at my friend Andreas' house. And uh, um, Manu lent me this guitar, just love the guitar, and uh, the guitar last night, which was I think a, a VGA uh, electric guitar, and. Uh, I did not travel with any guitars. I traveled with my uh, fractal, but no, no guitars. Uh, Lorelai Lee, bonjour. Renee in uh, Laura, Laura, Lorelai. Are you in? Uh, I, are you, I'm taking it. You are in uh, France. Renee's in uh, Washington. Henry, and you're in London, right? Hey, Henry. Uh, Henry, you know uh, uh, Clarice and um, and uh, Manu from Vi Academy. Uh, Switch and DF Dub, Dallas in the house. Uh, hey, Brett. Oregon in the house. Rachel. Hey, Rachel. Arizona. <laughs> no guitars. Meaning I didn't have to worry about it on, on flying. I tell you one thing that's weird about flying. I, I always fly with guitars. Is when you get off the plane and then you have that sinking feeling of like you left your guitar on the plane. You know, you can't get back on the plane these days. But then I, have, then I come to realize that I didn't bring a guitar. So, it's very strange for me. Uh, Mount Vernon, Washington. Oh, there you go. Uh, Renee, uh, uh, Renee. Uh, Rachel, I've only seen the sites around, I'm like I said, I'm three hours from Paris. So I've only seen the sites uh, around here and, um, uh, and it's been great. It's been, I've been post putting up a couple of photos. I should have put more photos in here, but it's on the way to the castle, which was closed because it's not, not the season for it yet, but uh, that's a little hint of it. Brett, yes, 
that sinking feeling. Hey, Stephen. Virginia in the house. Stephen, I'm sorry you're sick. I hope you feel better soon. Uh, Henry, thank you. Yeah, I'd love to come. I haven't played London in a long... I haven't played England, UK, in a long, long time. Yes, Brett. Stephen's sick. Show Stephen some love. Oh, Fanny, fantastic 55. All right, now I know. All right, cool. On YouTube. Ooh, I don't think I can translate Spanish that well, that, that, like that. I need one of my devices. Um, Jose, uh, no entado English to, uh, I don't know. You're in uh, Barcelona? Okay. Good night. Yeah, I was, uh, I'm coming to Spain. I'm coming to uh, Mallorca, uh, Friday. It's a bit far from Barcelona. But uh, I was last, well, the first time I was in Barcelona was Miguel Bosé, touring with Miguel Bosé. 1988, a long time ago. Um, hi, Margaret Ann. Now, Margaret Ann, you're in, you're in Georgia, right? You're in Atlanta? Yeah, I hope Cat doesn't catch it either, Stephen. Uh, hey, Jesse. Thank you very much. Yeah, yesterday was really nice. Thank you very much for coming and everything. Um, Barcelona, yes. Hi, Esther. Yeah, it was great meeting you in person yesterday. Henry, yeah, I love taking photos now. I wish, I wish we had the technology back in the 80s and the 90s so I could always carry a camera around. Hey, my, so my mom's on here. Hey, mom. Margaret Ann is in Atlanta. Hey, Debbie. Thanks for tuning in. This was a, so I was trying to figure out what time to do it um, because nine, eight, normally the show is on at 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time, which is 3 a.m. here. And especially after last night, there's no way I'm going to be up at 3 a.m. <laughs> and my hosts are just waiting to go to sleep. I know because I know they're tired. Um, have fun, Debbie. Oh, Debbie, before you go, I have a question. I'm going to ask everybody. And it definitely affects you. All right, so just a serious question. I'm trying to figure this out. So I've been streaming live for seven years, almost eight years, and then acoustic on electric. And acoustic has been since the pandemic. And you guys have been wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Um, but I'm, strong, I'm trying to figure out, you know, most of the time I stream on Twitch, and um, I streamed on Facebook when they when they let me. Um, I want to thank everyone who, who subscribes on Twitch and uh, in YouTube. You subscribe. The people who subscribe on Twitch are actually uh, paying some money, and um, or you have a uh, uh, Amazon Prime subscription, and that includes one subscription a, a month. Uh, but basically, these. Uh, these live streams, and they're they're for me as much as anything else, anyone else. Um, but they're supported by a handful of people, uh, continuously by I think five people, four or five people, and then um, occasionally uh, directly, to say, uh, by four or five people, and uh, occasionally um, there's another handful of people. And then there's people on Twitch, or some of those people still uh, support on Twitch as well. And uh, I really appreciate that. It seems not, uh, maybe I'm just thinking about this wrong, it seems not as fair to, for the, to those people, for everybody who comes on and watches. Um, and I will always do some, some free live streams and stuff like that. 
but I'm thinking of switching platforms again, trying to find a platform that's all inclusive, that rewards the people that subscribe and still has some stuff for people who um, who occasionally catch a show. So maybe, uh, how do you guys feel about that? How the, you know, the people that, that support this stream weekly, uh, you know who you are. Um, uh, and there's people like Renee who support the stream, has support the stream uh, money-wise, but also just by typing in and, and sharing and stuff like that. And I appreciate that from everybody. And I appreciate everybody going to, um, going to Bandcamp and buying a single or buying a song. I'm, I'm trying to put more music out uh, as well. I've just been producing everybody else but myself. Um, so you guys, especially the ones who subscribe on Twitch, uh, is it going to really bug you or flip you out that I'm, I might switch to another platform and still do, still do some stuff on Twitch? Um, I've been looking at Patreon and they actually have a couple of different things. They have the uh, paid Patreon, but they also have a free Patreon, but they have ticketed live shows. So if I can figure out how to do ticketed live shows for everybody who doesn't, um, so the people who would subscribe would get it free, but the people who don't subscribe would have to pay a small amount. We're talking small amounts, but if there's a lot of people watching and it's a small amount, it makes a big difference. Uh, or do I keep doing the things the way I, I have been doing it? So I'm just curious, if you have any ideas, please let me know. If you have a, a hard swing one way or the other, please let me know. Uh, Brett, Steven, Kat, uh, Debbie, um, uh, Twitch and DFW, uh, Yaya Twitch B, you guys support Money Wise Renee. Um, you support in many other ways. I really appreciate that. Change is good. Okay. Thank you. So I'm trying to figure out. Actually, obviously, I won't do anything while I'm on the road because changing things while I'm on the road is not a good idea. But when I get back, I'll figure out. By then, I'll have it together. Oh my God, Mother Faye is on. Hi, Faye. On Facebook. Jose, I have to, I, I can't translate that um, on the spot. I'll, I'll go back with my Google Translate and translate that. Um, I don't know. Um, Thank you. Hi, Noah. Oh, thank you. Oh, Noah, Noah is Richard. Hi, Richard. strings we put these on the other day and uh, I gotta keep tuning them if you're familiar with nylon string guitars they take about two weeks to stay in tune when you put new strings on Morgan. 
Jose, I don't really play anybody else's music. Number one, YouTube tries to shut me down. I'm not YouTube, uh, Facebook tries to shut me down for playing my own music. But I really, I, I, the only time I've played other people's music is when I've done like, uh, uh, last few years I've done a tribute to Sly uh, Stone on Sly's birthday. And I had a bunch of guests. Oddly, oddly enough, they never try and shut me down for playing Sly and Family Stone music, but by own music they do. Okay, um, so uh, normally Sundays are hot chocolate or coffee and popcorn. I don't have any popcorn or chocolate. There's some ch chocolates over there from last night that are great. And uh, this uh, lovely pound the cake, which I've been having too much of, and I probably should not because it makes me itch. Uh, but I'm going to have some coffee, and you guys get some coffee and some popcorn, and um, we'll dive into popcorn and chocolate. Scott Robbins. Oh, there we go. So Scott, Scott and I will be playing uh, at the Dallas Guitar Festival on uh, together on Friday, May third. The Dallas Guitar Festival on the uh, Category Five stage at three thirty, and then um, Saturday. Uh, I forgot the time schedule, but Saturday and Sunday I'll be inside at the. Uh, clinician stage, the Reverend Guitarist Clinician stage. I'll be playing my nags, but it's the name of the stage is the Reverend Guitarist Clinician stage. And uh, and throughout, I'll be at Scott's booth, G Bratz Guitars. I'll be playing there. Eric Steckles is going to be in town too. So uh, usually we get a jam going, and Allie Venable is going to be in town as well. So maybe the three of us will will do our annual hang at Scott's booth and um, and uh, and jam a bit. Uh, and see what else right after that I will be let's see um, uh, <laughs> uh, Joy if you're watching I need help because I'm, I'm doing a keynote speech at uh, Auburn University for uh, a group there and um, yeah Joy I need to talk with you uh, and then I'm going to go back to Texas East Texas and I'll be in Marshall, Texas doing a Fractal On Hands three hour workshop. Actually, there are two of those on the Fractal FM3. Um, three of those, two of those, excuse me. Uh, I'm gonna dive deep, limited size, and we'll uh, really answer questions. Um, and right after that is the, uh, oops, nope, not that, not that, no, no. Uh, the Dallas, the Dallas, the uh, Opelika Songwriters Festival in Opelika, Alabama. And um, I'm hosting a jam on Friday and Saturday night, 11 o'clock at the, it's the only thing going on at 11 o'clock at part of the festival. I can't think of it right now. Uh, Pam, you wanna type in where it is, if you know? Um, and then Saturday morning is uh, my Nashville, hosting my Nashville round. I got John Kurzweig, it's a 50 million selling producer. John Kurzweig produced uh, the three big Creed records, Puddle of Mud's only number one, Godsmack's only number one, um, Eagle Eye Cherry, a bunch of bands. Uh, he's also one of my favorite guitar players. He's a great singer songwriter. Got Randy Driscoll, you guys, uh, if you've watched, you, you know Randy Driscoll. Oh, hey, Noah, a French technician sound, okay. Um, yeah, Margaret Ann, uh, Opelika. It's an hour and a half away from Atlanta. It's a great festival. Um, and then uh, on Sunday, I'm doing, oh no, Saturday morning, I'm doing a work guitar workshop on tones and textures, part fractal, part tone with amp, uh, part acoustic guitar, part electric guitar. It'll be fun. Uh, 
Renner in Calgary. Wow. I'm coming to Canada, but not Calgary. I'll be in Canada uh, July... I'll be in Toronto July 16th for... The Guitar Workshop Plus. I should have that somewhere. I should... Let me see. No, 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 no. I hit the wrong button. There's the Opelika Songwriters Festival. That's the Opelika Songwriters Festival. Um, in Toronto, Guitar Workshop Plus, Guitar Workshop Plus, Guitar Workshop Plus. And I can't find it. But I know it's July 16th. And it's Toronto, it's right by the Toronto airport. X Y Y Z. <laughs> For you rush fans. Leanna Ray! I was just talking about the Dallas Guitar Festival. I hope you're coming again this year. Uh, I'll be there. I think I'm getting in, uh, and Twitch and DFW, but I think I'm getting in on Thursday. I think my flights are rebooked. I'm getting in on Thursday. The, sh the uh, festival starts on Friday. Hey, Tanea. Wyoming in the house. Yes, Joy has all the words. United States Poet Laureate, Joy Harjo. She's got all the words. Brett, the mix is kicking your butt. You don't like the mix? Is it too... What's going on? Oh, your mix. I get it. The mix you're working on. Hi, Laura May. It's weird because you guys are on Facebook. You might even be on two different Facebook pages, but I got Le <laughs> Leanna Ray and Laura May right, by, right next to each other. Because I'm looking at all. I'm looking at two Facebook pages... YouTube and Twitch. Oh, Loretta, you'll be in Nashville. I played the Kitchener Blues Festival back in 2000, I want to say 12, 11, with Ellis Hooks. That was a fun festival. I'm gonna plug back in. Thank you guys for uh, for watching. I'm gonna play. Uh, I'll do popcorn and chocolate, and then we'll do sunset. Um, it's not, uh, remind everybody. Elvis out. Yeah, Jose. I don't know what that means. Laura, you were at the Blues Fest. Yes, it was cool. Very cool. I hope you're doing some great writing in uh, while you're in Nashville. And Randy's coming down to the uh, Opelika Sunrise Festival, which is May 16th through 19th. I think you should check it out. I know you're a songwriter, so you should check it out. Renee, you want real crepes? <laughs> Are they from France? I got chocolate over there. Oh, cool, Steven. Playing bass. Yeah, I did a lot of play bass playing before I left, too. I had to do some recording. All right. Um, Laura, you like the set? I wish I could show you the rest of it. It's amazing. It's amazing. That's uh, that's Sophie's. Uh, this is her all her work. She's an artist. Manu, you I, you just have your office, right? You just do. I think he just does his office there. All right, guys. Uh, thanks so much. And if you heard my comment about how I should go further um, with Patreon, maybe or uh, or continue doing what we're doing, please let me know. And I'll bring it up again 
until I get home. Uh, yes, Laura, <laughs> it's amazing. Um, and as always, my, a quote by my friend Zach, uh, when I gave all my love and I've gone home, they'll say I was here and I put a little dent in fear and that I made someone smile. I hope I made you guys smile tonight. Um, I had a great time. I'm having a great time here in France. Tomorrow I'll see a little bit of Paris and then I'll head to Dusseldorf. Uh, here's popcorn and chocolate. And uh, I'll see you guys on Tuesday from Dusseldorf. <laughs>